Oh man, what happened? Looks like our PC died. Such a beautiful weekend guys. I was really enjoying the day. On top of that, I had so much work to do even on a Sunday. Now what could have gone wrong? Bam, my gaming PC which I use daily for editing my videos has died and I have no idea what is happening over here guys. So I thought this might be like a very good learning experience for a lot of people out there because I'm pretty sure everybody will face this sort of issue someday or the other. It might be related to anything, software issue, hardware issue or anything. Today in this video I thought together we will diagnose this PC and find out what the problem is and try to repair it guys. It might be like a very good learning experience for you also. In fact, I've never done this kind of videos so I'm also like very excited. So first of all guys, how to diagnose what the problem is in your PC. So you get two types of errors, software issue and hardware issue. If it is a software related issue, right? First of all, you'll get something on the screen. If you have some Windows OS related issues or maybe like kernel related problem, or if you have any sort of driver related issues, which you might have been doing something, repairing or something, and suddenly you'll get like a blue screen of death issue. It will clearly give you like an error code on the screen. And that is how you'll be able to find out what the problem is. But today, unfortunately, Unfortunately, we didn't get anything on the screen guys or simply working on something and bam blank everything gone PC suddenly switched off and that's it we are getting an error on the AIO display now this indicates that this is clearly a hardware related issue now how to identify which component is actually causing the issue or problem here also I'll try to give you some tips and tricks so even if your PC turned off now give it some time leave it for like five minutes and try to power it on again and this time if all the lights of different components are powering on but still you're not getting any sort of display start looking for error lights on your motherboard guys now suppose you are getting error light on the DRAM LED lighting this means that something is wrong with your RAM whenever you have some RAM compatibility issues right you will not get any sort of display but PC will boot and you'll get all sort of lighting over there so simply try replacing the RAM over here maybe try replacing or changing it and see if your PC boots up 90% of the cases this will solve your issue and your PC will boot now say suppose even after replacing your RAM your PC is not booting you're not getting anything on the display second thing you'll have to look for is the GPU sometimes what happens is GPU cables maybe like HDMI cable or you know power cable something gets loose and because of that you'll not get any sort of display on your monitor what you need to do is simply remove the HDMI or DP cable from your GPU and directly connect it to your motherboards HDMI cable and now check if you're actually getting any sort of information on your screen if you're actually getting right issue is with your GPU if you have some sort of faulty GPU GPU or your GPU goes broke right you might have to replace it with a new one now coming to third type of hardware issue usually I've seen that lot of storage drives your SSDs or maybe like hard disk they go BAM and in these sort of situation also you'll get like blue screen of death error guys you'll get like a blue screen over here with some error code and it might usually lead to like a changing of your hard disk or SSD now today with my case now I didn't get any of these common errors we have something completely different first thing I notice as soon as I you know power on the PC is I'm getting an error in indication on my AIO. So the one I am using right now in my PC is from Corsair's 360mm Elite Edition AIO which has like a digital display, LCD display and you can do a lot of stuff. It was working well since almost more than a an year and this is the first time I'm actually getting some sort of problem. So I left the PC for like 10-15 minutes aside and after that I tried to boot the PC again in safe mode and it actually worked. PC booted and we got the display everything but again within 5-10 to 10 minutes BAM PC is dead again and we are getting this sort of indicator. So the first thing I know notice is something is definitely wrong with my AIO cooler. So I simply remove the top panel over here and I place my hand on the radiator and I notice that the radiator is getting very hot guys abnormally hot and that is when I notice that the fans of the radiator are not spinning at all because of which the whole heat is not being cooled down and that is leading to like thermal stress on the CPU. CPU is almost reaching like 9900 degrees guys within like 5-10 minutes and bam that was triggering the case and PC was like going into safe mode. It was automatically powered it off to save your CPU that was a whole situation happening today now there might be two solutions for this thing first thing is either your hardware might have gone nuts it might have been damaged or second thing is some sort of loose connection we don't know over a period of one year one and a half year right some sort of cable might have got loose and automatically you know come out from the commander core unit so what I'll do is I'll quickly open up the side panel and check for any sort of loose connections and I'll try fixing them back and we'll see if the PC actually boots up 
so i just opened up the back panel to do some proper diagnosis and to be honest guys it's been almost like one one and a half year i've built this pc and i do not remember what sort of wiring i've done but anyways let's have a look it's not that complicated also so looks like we have two commander hub units these are actually corsair commander hub units which have like built-in rgb and fan hub control and one is from the case and the second one i believe is for the aio elite edition liquid cooler and all the connections were actually connected to the main hub only i mean the front fans the back fan every Everything came with the case and they came connected to the primary commander core unit and I've connected all the AIO fan headers and RGB headers also to this main unit only what I've done is I quickly removed them and replug them into the commander core unit so let me just quickly power it on and check if everything is working fine so unfortunately that also looks like is not working I have tried removing and reattaching the fan header and RGB header cables to the commander core unit of the case and that doesn't seem to work so this might mean that either the commander hub unit is gone or either the fans are gone what I'll do is I'll try replacing the cables from the main commander hub unit to the secondary one that we actually got with the elite edition AI cooler and see if the fans are actually working so these are the three RGB headers for the top AIO fans and I've already connected the fan headers to this bottom commander core unit. Now let me also quickly connect these uh, RGB headers as well. Very simple guys if you understand the wiring now. Not that hard to figure it out. Okay, so I've replaced the cables from this primary commander core unit to the secondary one. Okay, time for a quick test. Let's actually power it on and see if the AIO is working now. Ah, look at this. Fans are actually spinning, but I don't see RGB lighting now. Okay, definitely we are in the positive direction. Fans were not working only previously. Yay, we finally booted into Windows. Our PC is alive. So based on this diagnosis, I believe that our primary command center is busted, guys. When we had the AIO fans actually connected to that primary hub, we didn't get any sort of signal to the fans. And because of that, fans were not spinning. There was no RGB lighting as well. And because the fans were not spinning, radiator was overheating, CPU was also overheating, and the PC was detecting that, and the motherboard was automatically switching off the PC. That was the whole scenario that was happening temperature is well under control we have a ryzen 9 over there and idle temperature is only around 42 43 degrees centigrade so looks like our aio is again back to working condition only thing is we are not getting rgb lighting on the aio fans this means the rgb lighting on the fans have been damaged by our primary command hub let me see if i can actually replace the fans and our pc will be back to 100 percent so that is pretty much it guys our diagnosis for today so i'll have to wrap it up everything clean everything and get my setup back to original so I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got lots of knowledge and useful information. If you want more such videos to be done in future, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in my next one.